I want to show you what I basically do in my company, just a little quick overview. Here I have a video on YouTube from my company. There is a machine, a wrapping machine, which is also called with other names, for example, stretch wrapper, is wrapping a product, a palletized product. You can see that the product is above a wooden pallet. This part below is a, a wooden pallet. This one with these two these two slits. You can see these two slits are necessary for a forklift to unload the pallet, to remove it from this conveyor. This part below the pallet is a conveyor. You can see that there are some rollers which simply transport the pallet from a position to the center of the machine or machine center, then from the machine center to the outfit. Infit machine center outfit these are the three positions one before the machine then the next one is uh, in the middle of the machine so machine center and then we have the outfit which is the exit of the machine you can see here that this part is made up of a clamp and this is the cutting unit the cutting unit is the unit which cuts the film at the end of the wrapping procedure of the wrapping cycle and you can see that the ring goes up and the machine has done wrapping has finished wrapping. There is also this uh, part of the video which shows you the so-called top cover device or top sheet applicator. It simply places a top sheet made of film onto a pallet and then the machine will start wrapping again. It's a way to cover the upper part of the product. Then the machines can also have this so-called pressure plate you can see here which is just uh, a plate which uh, stabilizes pallets during wrapping. And with the pressure plate and the pallet is more stable, essentially. That's the point. Then we also have, we might have the pallet lifter or lifting device, which uh, is made of these black rods that you can see here under the pallet, the wooden pallet. And it's just a way to attach the film also onto the wooden pallet, to stick it to the wooden pallet. Because without the lifter, we would not be able to go so low as to wrap the wooden part of the pallet. Then here, this part shows the clamp. And you can see how the ring goes back up. And then the pallet is ready to go to the outfit. Here we have another part of the machine. It is an optional part because it is not mandatory. It's the so-called ARC, Automatic Reel Changer. It allows the machine to automate the changing of the reel. When the reel is exhausted, you can see that there is this device here, which essentially makes the reel ready for the machine to use it. So this is the arc. It's another view of the arc. And then the machine uses this new reel and uh, wraps the pallet. Then what is this? This is the so-called dynamic parachute, which uh, is a device that helps the ring to be locked and avoid falling down if there is a problem, a mechanical problem. This is a motor of the machine. And then the video comes to a close. There are different machines, several machines that we sell, not only this one, this is a ring machine. Then there are also the so-called arm machines, where there is a rotating arm, which rotates around the pallet. But I will not focus too much on that now. What I want to show you is a layout of the machine that we just saw. It's called Futura 2 because it has two reels. You can see that there is one reel here, which is mounted onto a reel carriage. And then there is another one here. This is the machine that we saw in the video, and it is uh, seen from above. There is the pallet lifter, for example. These red rods here constitute the pallet lifter. These rods go up and they fit between the rollers of the conveyor. And we might also have different conveyors, for example, chain conveyors, but I'm not going to talk about them in this video. This is just a simple overview. Then in this machine, for example, we don't have the top sheet applicator. I can see it from the drawing, but never mind. We also have a side view of the machine here. This is the ring, this green part. You can see the clamp unit, for example. You can see also a pressure plate. There is a pressure plate, which is drawn in yellow here. 
it is a plate and without the top sheet applicator. So it has a different drawing respect to the machine that we saw in the video, but never mind. Then this is the side view of the conveyor and also the pallet lifter. And here we have the pallets that are drawn with uh, different heights. For example, we have pallets which are 1000 millimeter high, then other pallets which are 1600 millimeters high, and then pallets which are 1700 millimeters high. And you can see that the height of the conveyors is 550 millimeters in this case. And then we also have other dimensions, for example, the height of the machine. Then these uh, fences here, these uh, element here and also this element here are the safety fences which protect the area of the machine so the fences simply surround the machine in order to protect this zone this area and there are also these barriers this element here is a photoelectric barrier this photoelectric barrier helps protect the machine together with the safety fences because an operator who wants to access the zone will have to pass through this barrier and when this barrier is activated, the machine will stop, will go to emergency. That's why this is important. But these photoelectric barriers will not go into emergency, will not get into emergency when a pallet crosses them. And it's due to these uh, rays, the way these rays are arranged. And I'm not going to discuss this here. Then there are doors to access the area of the machine. There is an electrical cabinet here with uh, an air conditioning system. And that's basically the machine. We also have, for example, here, this um, dashed line is an array, which is um, used to measure the height of a pallet. So this will help increase the output capacity of the machine because by measuring the height of the pallet, we can lower the ring to a height, which is useful to increase the productivity because for example for pallets that are 1700 millimeters high we can lower the ring to this position and then the cycle can start before the pallet has reached machine center that's important because in order to lower or raise this ring there is some inertia to overcome and if we have to work for example with hundreds of pallets per hour this is essential because we can save some seconds for every pallet that we work with this might seem something to be neglected but it is not negligible and this is basically an example of a machine